Hello, my name is Shetley, and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Argentina. In previous episode, we mostly just got started. We got a little bit of production going on, and, well, we just started with some. Our GDP hasn't really grown that much yet, but it's slowly starting to head upwards. The standard of living it hasn't really improved much yet either, but I'm sure that we can start focusing on that one. We're losing a bit of money right now. Uh, how are the taxes? Would there be any good? No, not really. Um, of course, it's once we start reducing the wood cost a bit further, uh, that will start to making us a bit more money. I think that's already underway. Yeah, there we go. So now we're already making money. Because this logging camp is providing a lot of uh, relatively cheap lumber into the market. And thus reducing the construction costs and many other things as well. We are still colonizing four different states at the same time. It might be better for us to focus on one state at a time or something uh, once we've done with these. Ooh, and we did get the religious uh, or the charity hospitals already. Now we're getting the religious schools, which has already gone to the last stage of the law, which I need to roll once more, and maybe we can already pass it. So the clippers and wood price are still pretty high. The um, minimum expectancy that living sound of is still pretty bad. And grain price on the market is still also a bit bad. Oh, hold on a minute. Are we actually that bad on the... Uh, okay, it's only five, 55 imbalances. Okay. But there is pretty high price on the grain regardless. So that's probably something we will need to focus on improving a bit further. The private sector is building some tobacco plantations, which we do already tax, luckily. So, well, we get the tobacco consumption tax, so that helps. And then there's the logging camp being built in our capital as well. So that will be quite handy. So we've got Buenos Aires over here, which is... Technically speaking, we're still colonizing a lot of that state. But I believe it is, um, well, it's the capital state, so it should be automatically incorporated. And, hold on, we're getting the paddle steamer. What are we getting in the production? Ooh, atmospheric engine, and that could be quite handy, actually. Getting closer to the railways, because we kind of need the railways, especially in the mountains here. But in other areas as well, of course. Uh, have we caught on any more of those uh, urban centers? Not yet. We don't really have coal, so gas lights isn't really an option. Uh, we could have free churches. We're going to have state-run churches. Uh, we'll probably have a state-run church. Ooh, playwright endorses reform. I think we're just going to go with the prestige because our, one of our goals is to have the highest prestige of all the South American nations. And actually, if we do have a look at the ledger, how far are we from that goal? I'm pretty sure that Brazil is... Yeah, Brazil is higher. I think there might be some others. It's mostly Brazil. Yeah, because Mexico is in, uh, not part of the areas that we're concerned with. Uh, for that, I suppose there's a... Bolivia or Peru Bolivia? Is that already formed up? Possibly, I can't see it on the list. Then in GDP wise, we are pretty far down. We don't even have a million yet. So all the way down there. How high are we on the list actually? 57. Oh wow. Okay, that's pretty bad. There we go. Now we're at least still making money. We did reduce the taxes a decent bit, so we could increase that a bit further again. But I'd rather keep it a bit lower for the time being if we are still making money. If we start losing money, though, uh, we will increase the taxes. Oh, there we go. The paddle steamer has been done. So that's good. That's another tech completed. And another set of uh, provinces will be colonized very shortly. Oh, um, the tensions are growing in a lot of places. Okay, good to know. Napoleonic warfare is spreading. Good. We will probably need that. I do actually wonder, so we caught Mapuche over here. How much troops do they have? Zero. Okay. So we might be able to win that fairly, relatively easily. I say fairly, but it's probably not going to be all that easy. Uh, we could get the... Do we have a lot of sugar in the market? We've got two extra right now, which is probably from the maize farm over here. And that's probably not producing a, even close to full speed right now. Okay. Well, one of the things that we might want to do... Uh, we got the check stamp already in here, but it's uh, not hiring more. It's not really making a lot of profit. Now, to be fair, if we were to get the dye workshops, no, that wouldn't really make any more profit, to be fair, would it? The furniture manufacturer is at least making some profit now. And it's also providing still some luxury furniture as well, which is very nice. At least the local prices are dropping there. So now we're getting the dye plantation. Once we have that, we'll start switching the production a bit further. And we have gained... Oh, yeah, we're making more points per year now. Partially because our population is increasing, I reckon. Rousing speech captivates the public. And get 15% success chance or improve the uh, pop attraction for the Catholic Church. We'll just take the 15% chance. So now we'll have a fairly good chance of passing the religious schools. We'll still hopefully have a little bit of bureaucracy left over, although it's probably not going to be all that much. I think one of the things that we should probably build 
is uh, build a food industry. Although I might want to be somewhere where we have uh, a lot of food production. Maybe in our capital. If we get a food industry in there, that will probably be quite handy. It's one of those things that will uh, allow you to actually have a lot more food for the people rather than just using the basic grain and other similar... Actually, I forget. How do they compare? So it's basic food. So fish is equal to grain. Meat is a bit more effective than grain. Fruit is a bit more effective and so is grocery. So all those three... Uh, or the last three are one and a half units of grain each and can be substituted of course uh, accordingly but yeah that's uh, it would allow us to get at least a bit more food which of course then would maybe start improving the standard of living a bit more Santa Fe is still having massive issues with the standard of living of course there well there's some workers in here how's the local prices I think that's probably the big problem so fish is a bit expensive there uh, grain is still fairly expensive but oh, we know local price right um so yeah, fish is pretty expensive, grain is pretty expensive, clothing is pretty expensive. Uh, so as soon as we get the plantation done, which is hopefully done soon. Do a promotion. Intelligence has been promotion of Brigadier General, Towsing Historia, loyal and effective uh, service. Sure, I guess. That's going to cost us a bit more bureaucracy, to be fair. Slaves, crude and mutiny. Uh, so as one of our nation's mercantile ships have risen up, seized control of the ship and sailed to nearby Bolivia, where slavery is illegal. I'd say it is out of our hands now. It will mean that Atlanta owners aren't going to be quite as uh, happy, but that's just how it's going to have to be. Discipline and punish. The role of discipline in, in the new religious schools has raised, has raised by the armed forces a, as an area of improvement in the plans for this new education system. Um, we could focus, or we should focus on the curriculum. Oh, an ex uh, slavery ban. Now that would be quite handy. But we're currently getting the religious schools down first. Uh, or working on the school system is paramount. We're going to reduce the armed forces' um, opinion of us slightly more. It's not the worst thing to happen right now. Oh, Chukuma. Oh, right. The state over here, of course, is having some um, problems with the infrastructure. Now, that's partially because we built the extra gold mine there. I uh, don't think we have... No, we can't really do much in that until we unlock the railways. Uh, what's there? Right, so this one is a good place for some coal mining. Maybe we would get a coal mine in there already, although it's not really needed right now, admittedly. There's a bit of peasants, not too many though. But you, we could probably build that. That would allow us to get a bit more service at least produced in the urban centres, which to be fair, we don't have more than one right now, I don't think. No, we only got one. Another thing that we'll need to build at some... Oh, we're getting a sure plantation. Grassroots support for the law. Ooh. Those will try to become more loyalists. Now, we already got a fairly good chance of passing the law. So, I think we'll take that one. That will hopefully reduce the radicals quite a bit. And start improving the approval ratings uh, from all of these uh, interest groups. And there we go. The dye plantation is done. The dexter mill will go ahead and start using the dye workshops. It's not going to be using that much dyes yet. And right now, it might be a bit expensive to get all of that sorted. But we'll get that uh, sorted eventually. Uh, so, we can't get any cotton plantations in our areas here. It's uh, not really good to... Well, no, there's actually cotton plantation chance over here. That could be handy for a bit of extra fabric. Although we're going to just use cattle or the livestock ranches for it. It's not really the best way to do it, but it also gives a bit of meat, which might reduce the amount of uh, grain uh, uh, needed. So the GDP has slowly increased. The standard of living might be improving now. Looks like the... Yeah, okay. Um, Mapuche was slowly reducing the uh, tension there, although it probably will be increasing still quite a bit. More advancement. There we go. We'll get another 15% chance. <laughs> it will pass soon. How's the... Okay, there we go. Getting about 23,000 people per year. And over here... Oh, yeah, we got pretty volatile relations with uh, Burani. Hope that will go fine. Also... Uh, I would like to apologize for any butchered names during this series. But the construction sector is still not producing full speed. Oh, Lord Advancement again. Okay, 87% chance. Uh, so the construction sector over here is producing. There's only give Oh, it is only two construction. Right, so it's basically just a tiny bit short of that. We could maybe increase this to the iron frame building at some point. 
But we don't have the iron production for it yet, and we don't have the capacity over here to build more of that either. Partially because the population is so tiny, so that there's just not... Oh, and it's actually going down. A lot of them are probably just moving to our capital or something. Because over here, yeah, there's a decent bit of migration coming in. We're still making pretty good money, and the gold reserves uh, limit has grown quite significantly. The atmospheric engine is underway. We could probably go ahead and get another tech in society, like the stock exchange. Uh, the trade route bureaucracy cost goes down, which would be quite handy. And after that, maybe the mass communication of the HR authority. We can maybe get some, either some taxes or just, you know, reduce some of the other things. Or rather, improve some of the other states, maybe. Maybe we could even get the road maintenance. Oh, it's only 75. Okay, we'll get road maintenance in there then. Oh, it's got, okay, it's got 100% support. Well, it will probably pass now. I'd imagine, anyway. Okay, so we've got one extra point in the infrastructure here, at least. So that improves the market access. And that might allow the standard living to go... Oh, actually, the standard living has gone up a little bit now. Resource boom. Two good one. Oh. All right, then. We'll get extra 10% group up there. Sure. So the slavery band there is intelligentsia supporting that. And it's definitely something we want to do at some point. Because we do still... If we have a look at the laws, we do still have legacy slavery. So that's kind of problem. Atmospheric engine is completed. And uh, now to be fair, we don't have any coal mines yet. That is something that we do have queued up, but it's going to take a while before it's built. We'll get in the food industry in about a year or so. It's not building very quickly right now. Ooh, Bessemer Prose is spreading. And we don't have any steel production yet either. We don't really need it quite yet. It's something that we do want to have at some point, but right now there's just a lack of so many things. Oh, there we go. We've got the religious schools. There's a small shortage of bureaucracy right now. So we might want to go ahead and... Oh, actually, do we have... Um, do we have any government associations? We do. We don't have any paper to use for those, so we'll just have to build another one, I reckon, for the time being. Probably just build another one in our capital, quite frankly. I don't think we will have any tax capacity issues anytime soon. Right, so now we could try passing the slavery ban. But that would radicalize the landowners, and I'd rather avoid that for now. And there's a, well, there's only these two options right now, so there's not really a lot of uh, leeway in there. We could go for the colonial exploitation, but I think that might be... Well, it would increase the throughput in unincorporated states a little bit. For the plantation mines, forestries, and rubber plantations. Uh, but it wouldn't necessarily improve the situation too much. We could also try going for the oligarchy. Reduce the... I suppose it doesn't directly give landowners power. But that would increase the capitalist power at least, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Or the land of voting. The petty portraits would kind of oppose that one. We could maybe go for the oligarchy first. Armed forces would oppose that. But industrialists would uh, love that. Landowners would love that. So if we pass this one, we might then be able to pass the slavery ban maybe. Without radicalizing the landowners. Let's give it a try. It might fail. But at least uh, then we know that we've tried. The colonization is slowly advancing in here. How's the Chilean? They are having one colony in there. I don't think they started colonizing anything else yet. So the Age of Cordillas, it's... Um... Oh, it is increasing still. Okay, so we might end up with that then. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, right, so the private sector, what is this building? Sugar plantation, then another fishing wharf. Now, to be fair, I suppose that does provide a bit of food. So it's not all bad. And there is at least a bit of extra population available in uh, our capital. Also getting quite a bit of money right now. And the standard of living has got back to 8.9. So it's almost at where we started this playthrough. And there we go. We've reached 1 million in GDP. It's going to be a whole lot harder increasing the GDP as Argentina as it was with Korea. Oh, already approaches the consideration. Well, oligarchy might happen sooner than later. Still got quite a bit of colonization to do, of course. So how is the world looking? Probably not much is happening yet. Of course, there's a bit of colonization probably going already in Africa. Including Kenya. Great Britain pretty much every time starts right from the day one these days. A bit a sort of off-camera playthrough. A little bit of playthrough as a Buganda. Ooh, there we go. Oh, well, we actually get some bureaucracy costs uh, recuperated from there. There we go. So we, we might not need the government administration right now, but it doesn't really hurt to have extra points there. So we can increase the education, for example, a bit further and get uh, some more education access for people. Oh, and now there's a movement to preserve autocracy. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to go for oligarchy. And we've already reached the gold reserve num or max numbers there. Technically speaking, we don't need to worry about it too much. We could reduce the tax in here. 
or we could reduce the taxation even further. We'll go for very low taxation for a little while. Keep the legitimacy up. We'll speed up the roles on the oligarchy, or the law chains in general, I suppose. Oh, well, there we go. It was all reproduced the adoption. That was a pretty quick to there, but I suppose we had that happen in the Korea playthrough as well. We caught some law really quickly to the last stage, and then we spent like two or three years on the last stage, just rolling over and over and over again. Now, to be fair, the previous law did go to 100% succession in the last stage as well, so that's part of it, I suppose. So now we're getting a fruit or banana plantation in here. Uh, is there? There's not a lot of peasants available. I suppose if there's a lot of jobs available, that might increase the immigration to here. Mm, not really, not yet at least. Now to be fair, we did get the greener grass in here. Maybe we can uh, stop the greener grass in our capital for the time being. It will still probably get a decent bit of immigration or migration into there, but uh, probably reduce it a little bit. There's still quite a few peasants available as well. Some unemployed. But the problem is, like, a lot of the states just don't have the population to work uh, with at all, really. But we did get the food industry in here now. We could use the sweeteners. That will start using a bit of sugar that we already produce. Increase the amount of groceries that we produce. Uh, do we need the pot stills? Um, probably not, actually. Because the price of the liquor is already fairly low. But this way, we should be able to make it. I suppose there's not a huge amount of the groceries yet, but I'm sure that once there is groceries available for cheap prices, people will buy them. And then that way, we'll at least be able to reduce the grain price a little bit. It might not be instant. But I suppose it should... Uh, oh yeah, it does lower the consumption a tiny bit there. Crude connections. And we're going to grant him permission. Time is essence. Intelligence here would kind of hate us. And will we take the... We can probably take the 10% in actual time. You, I might regret that later, to be fair. Uh, we've used up all of the... Oh, actually, so who should we ally? Also, the Bolivian Confederation. We could ally Bolivia, right? Or a... Okay, if we give obligation, they would accept. Do I want to give them obligation? No, probably not. At least we've got good relations with them. Technically speaking, I suppose we could try to stop them from doing that, but honestly... We don't want to get too many enemies right now. Um, Brazil is already a bit hostile towards us. Antagonistic. Ooh, intelligent. Oh, we lost the 10% society research speed. Well, that's unfortunate. Getting quite a bit of money. Ooh, we've got 9.3 standard of living now, I suppose. It may be improving, uh, especially having the extra food production, might be improving a decent bit. Now, to be fair, it's actually still not producing all that much. I guess there isn't a huge demand for it yet. There's a total of one by order. It might be like one point something, but still anyway, there's um, not a huge amount of uh, availability yet. But I guess it is improving. I'm getting another banana plantation. After that, it's going to be another vineyard. But uh, is there any... Well, we don't have a lot of bureaucracy available. That's one of the things that once we get the uh, government administration, we can then maybe start doing a bit more trade routes. And I suppose this state is going to be colonized soon enough, which would allow us to colonize the remaining areas a bit faster, at least. Oligarchy, please pass. No, nope, dissenters break ranks. Um, well, that would reduce the landowner's pot attraction, at least. So they might not be the largest one anymore. But at least the landowners are fairly happy. Uh, so the grain price is still pretty high. I'm going to stop piling gold. Agitator appears for landed voting. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need to worry about it right now. Mass communication is already underway, so is that... Right, we got the stock exchange already. Right, uh, in the production, there's the best process. That would allow us to get a better steel production, which to be fair, isn't actually too important right now. In the military, they are getting the Napoleonic Warfare. We should probably get it complete before we get to that. I guess we could uh, quickly complete that and then help with the Bessemer process. Another thing that we don't have yet is universities. Uh, of course, it's not done through here. It's done through here. We'll get a university in our capital. And after that, it might be a good idea to get one uh, paper mill. So let's get some paper production. We can get a lot more bureaucracy that way. And then, of course, we can get the, well, a lot of other things. So we can start improving the institutions, for example. We'll get the education up. And a few other things. We can do some more trading to make sure that we get the basic stuff needed. Or the basic things that we need right now, which... We need quite a bit of things. We've got a total of 49 prestige. It's not a lot. Um, but can we actually declare any more interest? No, not yet. If we were to increase our navy size, maybe. 
I think one of the things that we might want to do... Uh, let's actually have a look at the populations. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start getting a bit of uh, contra battalions for the army in our capital. Get two in there. No, we'll get three in our capital and two over here. So that will give us that extra five battalions during war times. It may be bad in certain aspects. Like it will. Oh. The Pucci Uprising. Oh no. Mendoza colonization completed. Buenos Aires colonization completed. I suppose it's going to speed up the progress on the northern side now. For a little bit at least. Uh, so the money, well we've got quite a bit of money. I guess what we'll need to do is we'll need to go ahead and mobilize the army. Uh, a lot of these are going to be attacking. I suppose that's fine. I don't think there's going to be too much enemy troops there, are there? Well, I suppose it depends if uh, anyone else joins in. Let's go ahead and slow down the speed. Ooh, there we go, Napoleonic Warfare. So we, if we can get the... Oh, hold on a minute. What can we do? So there's the colonization rights. Uh, is there anything else that I, I could do? No, not really. That should allow us to colonize basically all the territories a bit faster. And I think it might also mean that we are the only one that can colonize them, but I'm not entirely sure about that one. So right now, no one's joined in. There's not a lot of nations that can join in. We've got fairly good relations with most of the ones that could even dream of it. A common cost. Seeking to discredit uh, Sanazio Rivera during a speech on oligarchy, a heckler inspired by Feliciano Gonzalez, uh, inquired about uh, prep prices. Um, Anastasio Rivera asked uh, a nearby grocer. Okay, so... We produce the law for faults. So more loyalists. And a success, success chance of plus 5%. Or... Um, who is this actually? Oh, is it industrialists? Right, he would lose a bit of popularity. And the industrialists would lose some popularity in general. And who's the other one? That's the Catholic Church. We'll do that one. Get the 10% extra chance is uh, fairly decent. But luckily, since this is happening in the southern areas, we don't actually worry about uh, someone like uh, Brazil trying to um, get into this warfare. Oh, hydraulic grains are spreading now. Right, we've got the Napoleonic warfare. Do we have... We've got one artillery, don't we? We don't actually want to start upgrading it right now, but... Oh, no, we don't have any artillery at all. Probably would be handy to have some, but of course we don't have any artillery itself. Infertile grounds. Oh, is this the... Oh, that's the agitator, right. Yeah, he can settle domestically, I suppose. That's fine. So no enemies right now, so we should be able to just... Uh, oh, no, they've got one battalion at least. One out of six contributes. I don't know... What are their qualities, I suppose, is the question. We've got six construction centers in here. It is only irregular, so our line infantry and a bit of cavalry should be able to defeat them. I suppose our troops are getting mobilized as well quite easily. Now, to be fair, it's a lot of generals and not a lot of uh, battalions. So it's like a brigadier general battalion or something like that. But mm, I guess it's not the worst. So we've got plenty of money. We've got 60,000 over the limit there. All right, then. That's starting to maybe reduce the wealth in general in our nation, which is not necessarily a good idea. Oh, the private sector is getting more fruits. I mean... Do we need fruit? I suppose it is an alternative for the grain, so I guess it does help. But we already got a little bit extra in there. We only got one battalion thus far. I suppose they are slowly hiring the people, but they might not get a lot. And that would allow us to then colonize, of course, the remaining of these states fairly quickly if we win. Or a lot faster, at least, than what we've been doing thus far. We're not going to get... Oh, there we go. We've got more authority. So we're still bolstering the Catholic Church, are we not? Yeah, we are. But we could have a look at through here. Yeah, we don't have a lot of taxes going on, but we don't really need a lot of taxes right now anyway. Ooh, egalitarianism is spreading. Very nice. So now we're getting the best of the process. After that, we could probably go ahead and help with some of these. Dialects would be handy for the university. We don't have a lot of universities yet. But that's fine. Or well, the modern sewers could also be very handy. Get some more infrastructure over 100,000 population. Which would be probably a few points of infrastructure in various places. Not nearly all of them, but uh, that would probably be quite handy. Uh, in production, we're getting that. What's the stuff for... Oh, right, there's the cranes. That would increase the port max levels. Could be quite useful as well. I think we might gonna go for the egalitarianism. Just get a little bit more research done in here for the time being. So right now, we should be mostly fine on the 
A military... Oh, not military. Market access is dropping in a lot of places. Uh, Gordoba over here. Well, I suppose we've got quite a bit in there already. Oh, the tech sample is... Yeah, it's making a profit. They're not hiring quite all the people this day. Oh, right. We need to get a whole lot more... I suppose if we were to build a cotton plantation in here, can we have enough? We do have probably just about enough infrastructure for it. I've got some peasants in there, so we'll build one of these. And that might allow us to get more... Uh, fabric into the market and there's a fishing plantation or oh, not fishing plantation fishing walks over here that the private sector is working on how is the food industry doing they are still not hiring a lot of people I suppose it's still partially because of the high price of grain so the production cost is a bit too high there but I suppose if we get another fishing wharf there that might reduce the amount of uh, grain used locally not initially massively but just about enough they've still got only one battalion versus our sixth I believe they are still hiring more but they are far from complete. So this should be a fairly easy battle or war for us. There we go. Two arms. We should have uh, all of our fronts. Or oh, if we have a look at the front itself, I suppose. Oh, there we are. We already got one battle here. And they got okay defense. But we've got such a massive manpower advantage that we should... Oh, wow. That's a lot of areas conquered already. How quickly are we doing the colonization in here right now? It's going fairly quick. We might have another war to the north soon enough. Oh, there's another battle, and that's another easy victory. So, we've already won. And our troops are now returning home. So, will they take the colonization rights uh, deal? No, not yet. We'll just go on for the time being. So, the coal mine's about to be built. Do we have any more um, open centers? We've got two of them right now. So that's good. We're going to get a bit of services produced and all that. That's Actually, the standard of living has gone up a decent bit. Not the best, mind you, but it has gone up. These are now moving away. Don't know where exactly they're heading to. Maybe past oh, there we go. We got Olicrack here. So we did lose a little bit of the authority there. But now we are Argentina. And we could have a look at the... Right, we got fairly good legitimacy of the government. Could we get any better? We could actually get the armed forces in here as well. That might actually go ahead and push this one further, to be fair. But that's alright. So we got those two brokers instilled. That state is almost done, actually. Ooh. Defensive battle with Bolivia, actually. I will take that. Reigning peace. With the establishment of lasting diplomatic ties with the rising Peru Bolivian Confederation, the mutual society the security of both Argentina and Confederation has been ensured. Will this arrangement hold? We get 10% uh, uh, prestige and 5% more influence for five years. I mean, we've now got over 50 prestige. It's not all bad. They still won't take the peace deal. They probably will soon, though. And then we'll just colonize the rest of this area fairly quickly, I reckon. There we go. Proposed peace deal. There we are. And you now want an alliance? I'm sure, actually, I will take that. Oh, there we go. I stay Oh, yeah. It started colonizing in here a lot faster again. There we go. But with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like or subscribe if you have it already. Also, got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.